Yes, sir. Okay. So, so for all of you, so if you do not want your uh, faces to come on the recording, I'd like you to put your video off. Is that clear? Right? So okay, sir. Otherwise, I'm fine. Sir. Yeah. So that's very important, right? Camera off. Correct? Now, all of you can hear me, right? Okay. Yeah. So first thing first, I'd like all of you to introduce yourself to me so that I know exactly who is there and in which grade are they going and why are they here. Okay, so let's begin with Rohan. Yes, Rohan. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rohan. I'm transitioning into grade nine. And the reason why I came here was to learn about more of my curriculum and to prepare for the next grade and the higher grades. Very good. Yes, Gayatri, can you introduce yourself? Um, hello, my name is Gayatri. I'm in, I'm going to grade eight in September and I'm here to, well, challenge myself in math. Good. Yuan, can you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Um, my name is Yuan and um, I'm going to grade seven and I'm here to um, get ready for grade seven. Very good. But you're getting ready for grade nine. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, Kirat, can you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Kirat and I'm going to grade nine and I just want to learn what's going to happen in grade nine. Perfect. Wasi, can you introduce yourself? Yes. So, and, um, yes. Good. So we have five students from grade seven to grade eight to grade nine. So I thought that I'll begin with grade nine and we are actually discussing a common issue which is common to all students, whether they are in middle school or in high school. Most of the time, the most difficult thing we come across is solving word problems, right? So we began with just understanding what is a word problem and how to solve it. Initially, we actually discussed what is an algebraic expression, what is an algebraic equation, how to write an expression from the phrases, how to write equation from the sentences. We also learned how to solve simple equations and also multiple step equations. We also learned how to solve equations which relate to some fractions. We also learn how to isolate variables, correct? Making something a subject. And in today's class, we'll actually pick up uh, word problems. The word problems which I'm going to take today are all related to age, right? So age we are always fighting with. And so I thought that'd be interesting. So let me share with you the screen. And uh, we'll also share with you a video which I have created with one of my grade eight student in New Zealand, right? So, so let's see. Uh, let me select the video from here. Okay. There you go. Can you see the screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me just... Uh... So here's the very first screen of... Uh... Okay, I also shared with you the link for this particular video. I would like you to actually go through this video and understand all the concepts. It's kind of very important. So today we are going to discuss strategies to solve simple word problems. Well, actually it is important to understand that when you want to solve a word problem, the first step should be define your variables, right? The second step is write algebraic expressions, which is translation of phrases, and then connect those expressions with an equation, which is placing your expressions with equal to sign in between. 
So once you put equal to sign in between, it becomes an equation, correct? And then we have to solve the equation. We learned a lot of techniques to solve them. We are going to apply all these techniques now. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so, so we have first, first exercise over here is to understand how to write. Okay, so there is some disturbance. If uh, you could mute your uh, speaker, that'd be nice. Okay, so the very first question here is basically related to translating phrases to expressions, correct? And we have got all the phrases which relate to age. Question number one. So when I read the question, I like you to answer immediately, okay? The first one is, we have to define a variable, as I said, let present age of Anil be A. So taking that as your variable, normally the variables are lowercase, we're taking a capital letter A here. So let Anil's age be A. Now question number one is, age of Anil after four years will be what expression? A plus four. Half the age of Anil. Half A. Correct. Thrice the age of Anil. Three A. A year less than twice the age of Anil. Two A minus one. Very good. Age of Anil five years hence. Five years hence means after five years. Age of Anil after five years. Eight plus five. Eight plus five. So we converted those phrases to expressions without any problems. That's excellent. Now we have question number six, uh, which says three times age of Anil is 90. So we are now doing three. equations. So how will you write the equation for three times age of Anil is 90? 3a equals 90. That is correct. Question number seven. Four more than thrice the age of Anil is 100. 100 is equal to 3a plus four. plus four. Correct. Question eight. Anil will be 50 years old after six years. 50 equals to a plus six. Correct. Question nine. Three more than one third Anil's age is 12. One third to um, one, half, one third A plus three. Equals 12 is correct. Last, Anil will be four less than twice his age in 10 years. So 10 equals to three A minus four. Again, twice his age. Anil will be four less than twice his age in 10 years. Yes. 10 is equal to 2a minus 4. Anil will be four less than twice his age, means 2a minus 4. I mean, Anil will be four less than twice his age so in 10 years. So when we say in 10 years, after 10 years, age will be A plus 10, correct? Yes. So we are saying that is the one part. Second is Anil will be four less than twice his age. So 2A minus four is equal to, do you understand? Yes. Okay, so write down this equation on your piece of paper and then tell me one by one, what did you get? Anil will be four less than twice his age in 10 years. In 10 years, his age will be A plus 10. And that is four less than twice his age. Do you get the idea? So uh, who, who wants to say the equation for this question number 10? Uh, sir, I think I got it. Tell me. A plus 10 is equal to 2A minus 4. 
That's correct. So, so then what I did was I... Um, don't solve it, don't solve it. That is correct. Okay. So we saw that phrases have a keyword, which is is, which is equal to, right? And so you get an equation. Was it a good exercise? You now understand both expressions and equations, correct? So that is one part. Now it is the time to solve the questions. Question number one, which I'm saying example is, some of, uh, I mean, Sam will be three times his age in 16 years. How old is he now? So you have to solve this particular question. How are we going to solve it? So I've shown you the steps to solve. Let's go through this step. Sam will be three times his age in 16 years. So we have to define our variables first. Let present age of Sam be S. That is it, right? Sam. So relate your variable to the name so it becomes simpler. Now I say Sam will be three times his age in 16 years. After 16 years, Sam's age will be S plus 16. And the relation is, he'll be three times his age, 3S is equals to S plus 16. Does it make sense to you? Yes. yes sir. So now it is easy to simplify. Take away S from both the sides, 3S minus S is 16, 2S is 16, divide by two, get eight as your answer, clear? Perfect. That yes, is how you're going to do it, right? So example one done for us. We got the answer. Let's do example two. Okay. Where is example two? There you go. Example two. Five less than two third of Peter's age Five less than two thirds of Peter's age is 21. Find Peter's age after five years. Okay, Rohan, tell me the strategy to solve example two. So what you would do is the um, equation would be two thirds P minus mm -hmm. five equals 21. So what okay. you would do is on the left side, you would do two thirds P minus mm -hmm. five plus five equals yes. to 21 plus 5. Correct. So then you get 2 third P equals 26. Correct. And for fractions and then for division, you have to switch it in the numerator and denominator. Yes. So it would be P equals to 26 multiplied by 3 by 2 as Correct. the original fraction was 2 by 3. Yes. So then you get um, a 13 multiplied by 3, which is 39. What is your answer? Oh, I got 39, sir. No, read the question. Oh, after five years. Oh, yes. after five years. Sorry. <laughs> after um, five uh, years, add five. Do you see that? So never miss your question. Be focused. You have to read sir. it properly. Correct? So that's sir, a common I have a question. Pardon? Sir, I have a question. Ask, ask, ask. Um, why did the numerator and denominator switch in between? Okay. Two third of P is 26, cross multiply, right? So you'll multiply by three and divide by two. Do you see how is it, how they switch? Okay. Correct. Multiply by three, it comes to numerator, and this numerator, two, divide by two. It comes to denominator, it switches. That is what, another way of saying cross multiplication, correct? Okay. Gayatri, you will do 26 over 1, cross multiply, and then again cross multiply, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, we could do it directly, which is shown here. Is that clear to you all? Perfect? Yes. Yes, sir. Very good. So that's a very interesting question and good part here. Purposely, I have placed five, find Peter's age after five years. So the answer is not 39. You have to add five, and 44 years is your answer, correct? Yes, let's take the next question now. So two variables, this time, I've numbered it because example three itself, okay. Sarah is five years younger than Dave. The sum of their ages is 28. How old is Dave? Gayatri, can you explain how to solve this particular question?
So since Sarah is four years younger than Dave, mm -hmm. um, I would do um, S plus four is equal to D. Got it. Um, and then and then I do, okay, so then I'd have S plus D is, oh no, that won't work. The second equation, there are two sentences, right? The very first sentence is Sarah is four years younger than Dave. So you got it as S plus four equals to D, that is correct. You could also write this as S equals to D minus four, both are correct. The second sentence is the sum of their ages is 28. That gives us the second equation, S plus D is 28, correct? We'll begin mm -hmm. by defining the variables. Let present age of Sarah and Dave be S and D respectively. Then you'll write your equation one and two, and then you will solve them. Now, this solution is slightly tricky for grade seven, eight students. Howard, I'd like you to take a lead and explain me. How did I get this solution? Gayatri, can you continue, please? Um, so, how you got the solution? Well, it's here you see that um, you wrote D minus 4 plus D is equal to 28. Why? So, you're saying that... Are you canceling out both the D? No, no. You're saying 2D... No. The first equation is S no. equals to D minus 4, correct? Yes. Sarah is 4 years younger than Dave. Second is their sum is 28. So I know what S is in terms of D. S is D minus 4. So in my equation, this particular S, which is S plus D, I replaced by D minus 4. So mm -hmm. this S is written as D minus 4 here. Do you see that? and the other yeah. D as such is equal to 28. I call this as a substitution method. We substitute the value of D, oh, S in terms of D and minus four into the second equation. So we got one equation and only one variable. So D minus four plus D equals to 28. Now we can combine the two Ds. It becomes two D minus four equals 28 and then solve the equation as we had been doing, correct? Rowan, I'd like you to explain the question once again, right from the very beginning. I want to understand if you have understood or not. So basically what the question is saying that Sarah is four years younger than Dave. Mm -hmm. So we already know that S minus four equals D. Oh, you might bet. D okay. minus four equals S. Got it. And, and all together, there's some, their age is 28. So what I do is we already know what their total answer is. So we add both S plus D minus plus D equals yeah. 28. Got it. Then what you do is you would subtract four from D, which is Dave, because Dave is four years older than Sarah. Yeah. And um, uh, what and then soon a uh, plus D, so you get two D yes. minus four equals 28. So then you subtract four from the left side and then add, add, add four, I mean, add four add from four the left the side and, and add four from the right side where you get 32 by 2D and then yes. you divide them by 2D and you get 16. Is the solution clear to everybody? Yeah, I'm seeing to, get, I'm seeing to uh, understand it a little bit, sir. Little bit, yeah. You are, don't worry. Yeah. You go through this video once again after we end our class. I understand mm -hmm. you're going to you're going from six to seven, and we're doing grade nine, right? So there is huge gap for you to cover. But I'm glad that you're picking it up, right? And it will be yes, to your advantage soon, right? From, yeah. I also have a different solution. Pardon? I have a different solution as well. Okay, what is your solution? Yes, share with us, Wasi. You can divide 28, no, you can subtract four from 28, and then you can divide 28 by two. And then that, once you have 14, then you can just add four to it. So then you know Dave's age. Uh, see, we have to follow order of operation. So in your particular solution, uh, there is a mix up, right? So therefore, you will not get the right answer. 
Is that clear? Do you get 16 for Dev as your answer? Um, I get 18. 18, that is why. Because you mixed up the order of operation, right? So let's go back to this solution once again. The equation is 2D minus 4 equals to 28, which is common, which you are also saying, correct? First thing will be, we should add 4. So when you add 4 to 28, that becomes 32. Now you do half of 32 to get D as equals to 16, as shown here. Is that clear, Vasi? Yeah. So that is how you have to do. If you mix up the operations, in that case, you will get a wrong answer. So this is how you will do it, okay? So watch the video once again and understand all these steps involved. Perfect. But thanks for sharing your views and order of operation is kind of important. Okay, let's take one more example here. Uh, let's see what is next for us. Here I'm only explaining this particular question. Well, we skipped some, but here's a very difficult question, which is example five. Okay. <clears throat> Vasi, can you read this question, please? Solve equation by cross multiplication. 39 subtract x equals 6. Bracket no. 19. Read, subtract read from example five. Example five relate to the present with the past. Yeah. A man, 39, 39 year old, has a 19 year old son. How yeah. many years ago was the father six times as old as the son? Right. Now, many times the most difficult questions which you come across are relating present and past ages, right? So, so that becomes very difficult. So the method which I'm going to discuss with you here in this particular video is how to put all the information in a tabular form. So once you make a table, it becomes simpler for us to understand. So let's read the question once again. It is a man, 39 years old, has a 19 year old son. That means we are given their present ages. So present age of that person, who is also the father, is 39. And present age of the son is 19. So you see first row, present age, 39 and 19 for the columns, father's age and son's age. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Easily we are putting the information on the table as we read. Second sentence, how many years ago, in past, was mm -hmm. the father six times as old as his son? That means we have to go back and we don't know by how much, we'll say let it be X. Does it make sense? Mm, okay. X years before. So from 39, I subtracted X. From 19, I also subtracted X. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. Earlier, six years before, they were both six X, X years younger. So 39 minus X and 19 minus X. Now let's read the question. How many years ago was the father six times as old as his son? Well, this number, 39 minus x, should be 6 times 19 minus x. That is what the equation is. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, Gayatri, does it make sense? 39 minus x equals to 6 times 19 minus x. Actually, I just don't understand how you... Like when you're subtracting both the father and the son's age by X, I, I still don't understand why. Okay, let us say father is 39 years. Last year, how old was your father then? Think like this. <clears throat> let us say 38. one less, right? 10 mm -hmm. years back, minus 10, correct? Yes. X years back, oh. minus X. Is that uh, clear? Right. Yes. X years okay. back, similarly for the son, X years back minus X, right? Mm -hmm. So X years ago, they were both minus X minus X. But okay. we are saying at that time, father was six times as old, right? Six mm -hmm. times as old. So we relate them, writing 39 minus X is six times 19 minus X. Do you see how simple it becomes by putting it? Yeah. Perfect. 
Yes. That is the way of solving a very difficult question. You have to first tabulate the information, then you look and write down the equation. Once you write the equation, then you can solve it. Correct? First step, writing the equation. Second step, solving this equation. It is also very difficult since we have six times two numbers within the bracket. So we have to perform the distributive property. We have to multiply six with 19 and we have to multiply six by minus x to get 114 and minus six x on the right hand side. Is that clear? Yes, sir. And then you know how to solve it. We will actually add six x so that we have x's on the left side and the numbers on the right side and then use your techniques of uh, solving equations to find the answer. Write down your answer clearly that 19 years ago, father was six times as old as his son. Perfect? Yes, sir. Okay, Rohan, I'd like you to, again, read the question and explain the solution. This is going to be our last question for the day. So the question is, um, a, a man who is 39 years old has a son who is 19 years old. Yes. How many years ago was the father six times as old as the son? Yes. So we already know that the father is 39 years old and the son is 19 years old. Correct. So now we have to find out how what was the multiple of six years where both of them is six times. Yeah. So what I would do is I would do 39 minus X which mm. equals to six multiplied 19 minus X. This is because the son has to be six times um, a smaller age than his father, which father equals to, to yeah. um, 39 minus X equals to 114 minus six X. This is because multiplying both X value and 19 as well. Yeah. Then from there, I would um, uh, do 39 minus nine, I mean 39 minus 39, on the x side, yes, which yes. is equal to 114 minus 6x plus 6x, because Correct. we're going to move 6x and 39. Yes. Uh, so 6x is going to go to the left side, and negative 39 is going to go on the right side. Correct. So then from that, you would get 5x between 6x minus the x, which equals to 114 minus 39, where we yes. get 5x equals 75. Then from there, we would divide 5x by 5, and same thing for 75 divided by 5 to find out our x values. So that would be 15. Correct. So we are able to know how many years ago was the son and father um, uh, um, uh, four, six times its um, uh, age. So then we would just do 39 minus 15, which equals to, uh, um, which would just be like 20 years. 24 years old, and then we would do 19 minus x to find out how much it is when checking our answer. That is so right. So I think you have understood the whole process. Now, what I would like you to do is actually uh, go through this video once again. While you're going through this video, you have to make your own notes. You understand we began with uh, expressions, right? And then writing equations. And then we had a number of examples. I only shared with you three of them. And then we had a number of questions for you to solve. So I'd like you to, to uh, copy all these questions, uh, do them yourself. And then once you're done, then you can check your solution. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So with this particular exercise, you are actually exposed to types, different types of word problems which could be solved by you. Now, we had a topic saying, all related to age, or we could change the topic. It could be something else. However, most of the time, the problems are similar to the situations which we have dealt with, correct? So th yes, I hope that gives you a good confidence. And so we actually end our week one by understanding basics of algebra, understanding what are expressions, what are equations, how to write equations, how to solve equations, and also we attempted to solve some word problems. Over the weekend, I would like you to explore more of my videos and solve more and more word problems. From Monday onwards, we'll actually split the group into their respective classes and we'll do grade seven with you, Yohan, grade eight with Gayatri, and with Rohan, grade nine, correct? So likewise, uh, we'll continue. 
uh, for the rest of the summer. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All of you. Bye, sir. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, sir. Bye, bye, bye sir. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye, Gayatri. Bye.